255 here. What up? Let's check it out. You know, I'm not really into female fighters as a representative of what I play in games, but KOF does it really good. Let me just start off with that commentary. And they have so many characters. I can probably pick two male characters that I like. And they pick one female character. And it's got nothing to do with uh, misogyny and the crazy like that. I liked Ram Lethal and uh, Guilty Gear, for example. I also love Karen in Street Fighter Alpha 3, but you know, when I play a video game, much like yourself maybe, you want to be able to play a character that represents you, you know what I mean? But uh, after playing Nier, Autonoma, and of course Nier Replicate, I'm getting more used to playing with female characters. Anyway, that's just some sidebar comment, let's get to the actual trailer itself. Leonora, she looks like a rushdown character to me. And uh, this bomb gimmick, you saw it in the Eustace trailer. Not saying that Eustace came first, obviously. King of Fighters been around longer. But uh, yeah, both some of them are pretty good. Okay. She has a, she has a lot of short moves. I haven't, and, and her fighting style is very unique too. May I add that? I haven't seen a fighting style like this before in any fighting game, and I played lots. We've seen this this bomb gimmick though. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, well, one other thing that's evident in this game, you're, you're not gonna be able to survive and do the most advanced combos without juggling like a like a nutcase. I like her style. She's simple. She's kind of straightforward, but uh, it works. It gets the job done. All expectations. Definitely. I'm imagining fighting a character like this though. If she's on the inside and she starts attacking, you're wondering how safe her moves are. Because um, dealing with the type of moves she has up close on block, it looks like it's an absolute nightmare. It really depends on her recovery. Because typically, female characters are fast. So I don't know if she's a power type. And so she has slow recovery. But if she has fast recovery on her moves, she's going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Especially up close. Um, I wouldn't want to deal with it. I wouldn't. I don't even think about Yokozumi. Yeah, because look at that last combo, for example, right? So look at that last combo, for example. Just imagine blocking this. Let's say that it didn't hit. This is a. It's a nightmare because the problem with rushdown characters who have like multi hits like that, you, you don't know when it's your turn. And when you think it's your turn, it might not. And then if it's like Street Fighter Five or something, they hit you with the hard. Now you just got crush countered, and you might have lost 30 to like 50 minutes to be your life, depending on the character. So it, it, that's the problem with these characters. She would be an absolute nightmare. And then I'm thinking about her having the ability to connect like six or seven or eight hits, just to avoid the annoying animation of the combo. Even though it doesn't do that much damage, you might get hit just trying to break out of it. Anyway, 255. Oh. 